Have you heard about Chloe Wise? Or George Rochegrove? Hi, I'm Gabriella, and today we will talk about different artists with amazing works that I assure you, you'll love. Let's start with David Hockney, who is an English painter, designer, set designer, printmaker, and photographer. He studied at Royal College of Art, Chelsea College of Art, and Design, and Bradford Grammar School. These are some of my favorite works. This is a particular collection in which he introduces his two dachshunds, Stanley and Budgie. Now on to Matisse. You've probably heard or seen works by this French painter. I personally saw them a lot on Pinterest and as posters in bedrooms. One of my favorite quotes is from him. It says, there are always flowers for those who want to see them. Matisse is also the most important figure of Fauvism. Now, let's talk about Monet, who is also French. He is one of the founders of Impressionism. Something particular about him was that he was able to complete a painting outdoors, which was not very common because painters usually only made sketches outdoors. And now, you will see other paintings that I also like. This first one is one of my favorite paintings, it is called The Night of the Flowers. This painting is called Primavera, or Spring Allegory, and it was made by Botticelli. The following paintings were made by Chloe Wise, an incredible Canadian artist. And well, in the process of making this video, I realized that she is also one of my favorite painters. Love you, Chloe. Finally, I wanted to add that, if you are watching this video, I assume you are interested in art as I am. So, I wanted to mention this fact, if you could call it that. Last year at my university, I took a history course, to be more specific, it was called Modern World History, and there I learned quite a lot. I don't know if it is something that is always taken in that course, but in my case, my professor focused on the cultural, and we touched on movements such as Rococo and Baroque for example. We also analyzed paintings, it was an incredible experience. I mention this in case you are a student, and would be interested in learning more, but don't necessarily take or study art. I took it in general courses, and it fascinated me. This also happened to me in the theater course, since as you know the currents coincide in literature and art. For example, Expressionism or Surrealism. Thanks for watching the video, even if it lasts a short time, making stop motion requires a lot of time. Let me know what else you would like me to do. Maybe in this video I didn't go into detail explaining each work, but I could do it. If you are interested in seeing each image in more detail, you can watch the video again, or look for the paintings in the official pages of the artists, or in the museum's websites, where they are exhibited, as they allow you to better appreciate each detail.